ICSI, the accidental discovery. Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin M. Johnson, and I'm here once again to provide yet more insight into why small is good. I know what you're thinking. You're already convinced. Okay, but here's more. While intrauterine inseminations, or IUI, can be very successful for mild to moderate sperm problems, intracytic plasmic sperm injection, or ICSI, has revolutionized the treatment of severe sperm problems. We are routinely achieving pregnancies in couples whose only choice would have been to use donor sperm before ICSI was first developed in the early 1990s. The discovery of ICSI was a scientific accident. The researcher was trying to inject the sperm just under the outer covering of the egg, called the zona, but went too far and injected sperm directly into the egg. The egg fertilized, the resulting embryo was transferred, and went on to become the first ICSI baby. From that modest beginning, ICSI has become the biggest advance in infertility treatment since in vitro fertilization, or IVF, itself. ICSI also involves a couple going through an IVF cycle, where we stimulate the woman's ovaries with injectable medications for eight to 10 days on average before performing an egg retrieval where we remove the eggs from the ovaries using an ultrasound guided procedure. This is done in our office under anesthesia. We aim for 9 to 15 eggs if possible. ICSI comes in when we are ready to fertilize the eggs. In a conventional IVF cycle where there are no significant sperm problems, we mix the eggs with thousands of sperm and let the sperm naturally fertilize the eggs in the lab overnight. With ICSI, we prepare the eggs for fertilization by removing the cells that surround the egg. Then, select the mature eggs that are capable of being fertilized. We then hold each egg still and the right way up using a special pipette and carefully inject a single sperm into each egg. We use a very high-powered microscope in controlled conditions, using micro-manipulation instruments to make the tiny but precise movements needed to insert the sperm fully into the inside of the egg, or the cytoplasm, with the least chance of damaging the egg. The DNA, or genetic material, of the egg and sperm can then combine, and the egg can fertilize. Success rates with ICSI are nearly identical to those with conventional IVF. The only requirement of the sperm is that it is living, but we prefer to select moving sperm whenever possible. ICSI allows us to achieve successful pregnancies with very low sperm numbers, right down to only 10 sperm for 10 eggs. We can treat couples where the man has really low sperm counts or poor quality sperm which is not suitable for inseminations. ICSI allows men with anti-sperm antibodies, which are proteins attached to the sperm that may block fertilization of the egg, to conceive successfully. ICSI is needed for couples where the sperm needs to be surgically retrieved with a testicular biopsy or testicular aspiration, such as men with a blockage in sperm production, including after a vasectomy or failed vasectomy reversal. Finally, in couples who need pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, or PGD, for a genetic disorder, ICSI allows the genetic testing to be more accurate by reducing the chance that extra sperm will contaminate the genetic test of the embryo. Worldwide, hundreds of thousands of babies have been born as a result of ICSI. Our embryologists are very experienced and skilled at performing ICSI, and we are proud of our success rates with this treatment. Small is good. The results are extraordinary.